After completion of define phase, we commence the measure phase for a given Lean Six Sigma project. The first activity that we do in measure phase is collecting the data. For example, during the define phase, we finalize the project Y as improve customer satisfaction to 90%. In measure phase, we first collect the data on customer satisfaction. We may collect the data for last two months or three months or whatever we think would be a more representative time frame. Usually a three month data would be sufficient. After collecting the data, we need to measure the current performance. For example, we may say that the customer satisfaction is currently at 54%, which is 1.4 sigma. We use specific formulae to measure the performance in terms of sigma levels. Before we proceed, we need to look at some fundamentals about data. Let's understand the types of data. There are two types of data, discrete data and continuous data. Discrete data is also called attribute data and continuous data is also called variable data. Let's look at the discrete or attribute data. Discrete data consists of non-negative and whole numbers. The rule of thumb for discrete data is this, whatever is counted or decided is discrete data. Let's look at some examples of discrete data so that we will have more clarity. Let's say we captured the number of network outage that happened per each week. Since this data consists of numbers that are counted, it is discrete. Another example, we capture the number of design defects for each project. Since the data consists of whole numbers that are counted, it is discrete data. Another example, we capture the data of quality checks, whether an item has been passed or failed during the quality check. Since the data is based on decision or judgment, it is discrete data. One more example, we capture the data of ticket resolution in a technical support scenario, whether a ticket has been resolved on time or not. Since the data is based on decision or judgment, it is discrete data. Now, let's look at the continuous or variable data. Continuous data consists of numeric data that assume any value on a continuum scale and may include the decimal values. This is the rule of thumb for continuous data. Whatever is measured or calculated is continuous data. Data of time, temperature, weight, rainfall, and distance are all continuous data. For example, Today's rainfall is 10.32 millimeters, which is continuous data. Let's look at some examples of continuous data so that we will get more clarity. Let's say, based on a checklist, we captured the customer satisfaction score on how they are satisfied with our services. Since this data consists of numbers that are calculated using a formula and the data assumes the decimal values, it is continuous. Another example, we capture the delivery delays or project completion delays for each project. Even though the data consists of whole numbers, since the data is related to time and it is a result of some measurement or calculation, it is continuous data. Another example, we capture the data of marketing expenses for each week. Since this data is a result of some calculation or measurement and it assumes the decimal values, it is continuous data. One more example. We capture the data of ticket resolution in a technical support scenario in terms of the time it takes to resolve a ticket. Since the data is related to time, it is continuous data. Let's do some practice of identifying discrete and continuous data measures for the following process areas. Can you think of some discrete and continuous data types of measures for sales process? 
Here are some discrete data type of measures for sales process. Here are some continuous data type of measures for sales process. Please come up with some discrete and continuous data types of measures for testing process. Here are some discrete data type of measures for testing process. Here are some continuous data type of measures for testing process. Can you think of some discrete and continuous data types of measures for recruitment process? Here are some discrete data type of measures for recruitment process. Here are some continuous data type of measures for recruitment process. This is how we can distinguish between discrete and continuous data type of measures for any given process.